Hello everyone, Yoko Somina-san, I'm Toki Madoshi, and in this video I'm gonna comment on some nuances that were lost in translation between the Japanese dub and the English subtitles of the third episode of Spy Family. And let's get started. <laughs> This scene is a perfect example when it's practically impossible to make a direct translation because there's a play on words involved. But they still did an amazing job with the subtitles. In the subtitles, they made it seem that she was stuck on the word pass and she went to think about passing. But in reality, the second part of this line is not in what Lloyd is saying. He is only asking to, to tell him what is the reason why they chose that school. And the confusion comes from the term shibo, meaning a desire or a wish. But it's often used when talking about which school you're choosing to go to. But the thing is, is that in Japanese, there's another word that is read the same way but has a different meaning, and it's dying. So she's thinking about reason for dying. So it was really clever what they did with the subtitle to use passing the exam to go to passing away. A lot of time it's really not that easy to do something like that when there's a joke or a misinterpretation of words in Japanese and apply them and make it still work in English. The part Kill Me Now is something that they added just for comedic purposes because in the original Lloyd is saying let's change question. Here it's a little bit of speculation on my part but Lloyd is using the term Kyoiku and it's something more general than parenting, it's more education, so a method of education. And I think that Yor is thinking back at her own training as an assassin, and I think that's why she says to strike first as an answer. <laughs> This is just a small nuance, but here Lloyd is using the term Jinsen, meaning person selection. So I think he's talking also about your, not just about Anya. わざわざ送っていただいて、孫にあげるプレゼントのお金入ってたのよ。ありがとうね。助かったわ。あ、いえ、取り返してくれたのはうちの夫主人ですので。This is another instance where we can see that Yor is trying to speak very politely with people, more so when talking to people that she doesn't know. First, she tried to say "otto." But then she changed it to Shijin. Both of them can be translated to husband, but the second one is a more polite way to say it. In this scene, Anya is using a term that I wasn't sure if I wanted to comment on because it's something that is really part of the culture of Japan and that is even obscure to a lot of real Japanese people because it's a term that is used mainly in anime manga and it's the term tsundere it's a bit hard to translate it directly in one or a couple of words which come from tsun tsun and that's a sound that can be attributed to someone that is angry and dere dere is the sound of someone that is shy or embarrassed. And this term is used to describe someone that is at first really cold or angry at people. 
but in reality they are really someone shy or that can be embarrassed easily. And I think it's also a way to show that a lot of stuff that Anya knows are from the anime world, that she's pretty much grew up watching TV. So that was the third episode of Spy Family, and now I'm gonna give a rating for the subtitle. For this one I'm gonna give an A+, because I think they did an amazing job for translating everything and found an excellent way to translate the play on words by your with the passing the exam. The only thing in the entire episode that was a bit off for me was when they added the kill me now part to Lloyd Zialog. But other than that, it was perfect. And with this, it's the end of the video, and I hope to see you next time.